Yes. Ah. So I've gotten some requests over at howtofightnow.com for some standing submission moves. These are basically ways that you can end fights without throwing a single strike. So I'll give you those. Now please keep in mind one of these moves is incredibly dangerous. So don't be an idiot. Here's the lesson. Alright, some standing submissions for a rare zoomed in lesson. So the first one we're going to cover is the standing guillotine. And pretty much the majority of my standing submissions are going to be done from some position where you were in close. So I love the clinch because you already have control over the guy's head. Even if you just have over, over unders, you kind of have control of the guy's head. The majority of these are going to be done by snapping the guy's head down so that you can have a, a further system of control over that head. So for the guillotine, it's important to note that the actual movement that applies the choke is bringing your wrist, your forearm bone, up into the guy's neck. So let's say I have Greg clinched. From here, I'm going to snap his head down and wrap this hand around so that my thumb is facing up and pointing out the other side of his neck. Now that snapping process, it's not you know, as self-explanatory as you might think. I want to be snapping his head and pushing it towards the side of my body that I want to choke him on. I actually want his head to end up kind of under my armpit. So I'll face Greg uh, back towards the camera. I push him down this way. This hand starts to come undone. And that wraps right around uh, his neck. The left hand is pushing his head down and towards the armpit. This hand is kind of swinging under. So I would strongly recommend that you just go ahead and uh, do this a bunch of times. Uh, uh, that was a sloppy one. Uh, okay, that one was pretty good. Now, bear in mind these are all better set up off of a knee. So let's say I knee him in the body, his head fundamentally goes down, Oop, now I catch my guillotine. First of all, if you haven't seen the clinch lesson at howtofightnow.com, it's free and it'll definitely make these moves work a lot better. Secondly, make sure you throw that knee in there because it makes the guy think about defending his stomach. Part of that is everyone flexes all the muscles in their stomach that crunches them over, which puts them in a much worse position to defend the choke and the snapping down effect that you're essentially going for when you're popping his head into the guillotine. Now let's take a look at some cool little tricks that can make your guillotine almost impossible to defend. Most people grab their hand like this on the other side and then they're cranking and, and trying really hard to get the submission to work and it won't work because they're not pulling their wrist bone up. Again, that's the most important aspect of this move. So grabbing like this and pulling sideways doesn't help. So the huge trick to this thing is actually to reach around in front of the guy's shoulder and pull up. And this reach is really counterintuitive and it's somewhat uncomfortable. So check this out. I got Greg over here. I've snapped his head down. I grab this. Instead of doing what's easy and grabbing over here where he can even just reach up and grab this wrist, I'm gonna go in front of his shoulder. I put my palm towards his shoulder. I grab the tips of my fingers and now I can pull this elbow straight up. So again, I've changed it from this to this, which is a much more direct application of the choke. And take a look at this right here. So this is the front of Greg's shoulder, which you can kind of see. Instead of having this wrist so easily grabbable, it's really tough for him to grab. He doesn't even necessarily feel what he needs to defend. Certainly not until it's too late. Now then the, the final note of the application is driving your hips forward, pushing your hands up. And if a guy tries to back up, you just go ahead and walk right after him. Right like that. And eventually he is going to uh, choke out. When you feel the guy's body go limp or if all of a sudden he's really heavy, that's when it's time for you to let go because uh, his ass is taking a nap. Real quick, a couple of additional details. Anytime you want to snap somebody's head down, it's good to, to step and kind of scoot your feet back. So we'll back up so you can see this. A little bit of that action right there. Okay, so you actually want to move your entire base back. I apologize for not adding that sooner. Standing submission number two. This one is probably the most dangerous and horrible move uh, that there is ever. So don't try this at home. What I'm going to do is instead of snapping Greg's head down and under my armpit where I'd be going for the guillotine, I'm going to snap his head down and I want the top of his head to end right in the middle of my chest. 
Once I have that, or rather at the same time that I'm doing that, I'm going to cross face him and collapse my chest on the top of his head. So I don't want to be sliding this across his neck anymore. I'm actually just trying to turn his head. So I'm here, I snap down, whoop, and I have this. So my wrist is basically across the top line of his gums, uh, chest is trapping the side of his head, and now I want a gable grip. If you don't know what a gable grip is, make a prayer with your hands, keep your thumbs in, turn your hands like this, and then grab. It's like one of the tightest grips that you can have. If you don't know what a gable grip is, make a prayer with your hands, keep your thumbs in, turn your hands like this, and then grab. It's like one of the tightest grips that you can have. So, I'm here, I snap down, cross face, gable grip. What I have here is essentially the ability to break the guy's neck. All I have to do is the same type of application pressure as the guillotine, and his neck is going to pop right there on the side. Yo, this is no joke. You do not do this to anybody unless it's an absolute life or death self-defense situation. Please keep that in mind because you will break somebody's neck and uh, end up in prison forever. And I'll probably get in trouble somehow. So, I'm here, snap down, cross face, gable grip, apply for a nice light submission. If the guy is actually trying to kill you and you're on the street, you just fucking throw your back into the thing, snap his neck and leave him, you know, twitching and floundering around. That's not my problem. That might actually be my problem and dead guy at your feet is definitely your problem. So again, let's tie this back to the beginning. This is for extreme self-defense situations only, life or death stuff. So the next thing that I want to point out is that the clinch is one of the absolute best tools that you can use for multiple attacker scenarios. Why you ask? Well, I'll show you. So if I have Greg's head clinched and I'm working on him and I'm throwing some knees into his body and you are one of Greg's friends that's trying to attack me, well, one of the things that's easy for me to do is real quick throw Greg in between me and you. Bop, rip some knees, throw this, bop, break his neck, and now his ass is on the ground. And if I walk at you, and you just saw me break your boy's neck, you're probably going to shit yourself first, and then you're going to run away. So in any type of life or death scenario, go for the clinch, multiple attackers, put that guy between you and him, boom, and work for one of these standing submissions. Whatever it takes to live. You know, it's not my problem what you do with this stuff. I'm here to give you shit that works in any setting and you be the judge and the, the controller of your own moral character. Basically, you're not allowed to tell anybody that I told you this stuff. Unless, of course, you use the share button that's directly beneath this video. Huh? In fact, post this on somebody's Facebook wall that you want to choke to sleep. Or use that button and put it up on Pinterest. Freak out some housewives. They're looking for a, a freaking apple pie recipe and instead they got a recipe for death and destruction. So I got a couple more submissions from standing that are badass. This first one revolves snapping the guy's head down into a front headlock. So I snap his head down, I drag this arm, catch this, and after that you gotta go to howtofightnow.com in order to get the rest of the move. Or I kick the dude over, you're not gonna be able to see this. Whoop! Yeah, I bet you wonder what's happening. He's choking. He's choking. You can't see it. Oh, yeah. Go to howtofightnow.com in order to get the rest of the move. <laughs> hey, if you like this video and you learned something, click the like button. Why not? And also subscribe to my channel because I'm always putting out more ridiculous savageness. However, howtofightnow.com does have way more lessons than my YouTube channel, and they are free. So go to the website. I have more standing submissions, submissions of all sort, and ways to knock people the F out. Pretty much whatever you want that, uh, you know, can get you arrested for all types of assault and, and battery. I'll see you on the website. Yeah.